This week, one take one. Vinny was once a child star. When I'm older, I want to be a fireman and put fire out. At school, he became a star pupil. Multiplying 450 by 1.85. 832 pounds 50. Good. But since his parents break up, no, no, no. Why is it for you to do that? Stop. It's a different no, story. Vinny basically is pushing the self-destruct button. Can the school keep helping him? I'm a stubborn old fool. Or will Vinny's behaviour force head teacher Mr. Goddard to exclude him permanently? This breaks my heart. The fact we're having this conversation, it all breaks my heart. Check me, I actually went to a gig at Shepherd's Bush Empire last night. <gasps> dude! Huh? You are a dude! <laughs> yes! Adina, there is no need for you to be wearing your coat. Remove it. Oh, you were smiling yesterday. Don't be all grumpy. Uh, Ellis, come here now. Do you get frustrated with having the same conversation day after day after day with students? Okay. Can you show yeah, I think it is frustrating. Yes, it is. But it's also reality. You'd like them to just go, yes, sir, thank you. You're quite right, sir, yes. Do you know something? I'm going to reevaluate my entire life now and change everything that I'm doing based on this conversation. Well, it's not going to be, is it? Emma, they are young people, and what do you do when you're young? You test out every boundary you possibly can, because that's what you do. How many times have you got the top of your skirt rolled up? I mean, I don't want to be some kind of miserable old fuddy-duddy misery, OK? But it's just too short. My attitude to it is, is that a young person can do anything they want to do. Pull the gun, pull the gun, pull the gun. As long as they understand that actually there are certain guidelines and certain rules, and when they get it wrong, they need to recognise that they've got it wrong, and that's just the way it is. Vinny, come here, please. Why? I'd like you to enter the school in exactly the same way as the other 890 students who attend this school. Until I see something telling me that there is a special new Vinnie Hunter law exempting you from the school's rules, you need to dress properly. OK. Billy Beddle, come here. Vinny is 15 and has been at the school for four years. Mr. Drew's out of order. He's got a grudge against me, miss. It's not, oh, my, it's not yeah, my fault. Yes, really. When I started in year seven, I used to think, oh, the teachers are really scary and that. Like, and then never got a detention in year seven, never got told off in year seven. <laughs> I used to be a little good boy. No, I'm not. Vinny is still in the top set for most subjects. But since his parents' separation, his behaviour has gone downhill. Vin, come in. Like most days, Vinny's morning starts with a chat from his favourite teacher, Miss Conway. Have a seat. She's definitely by far the best teacher. She's the only reason I haven't been excluded. You reckon you're going to have a positive day today? Probably. No, let's try again. You reckon you're going to have a positive day today? Do you want to sit down, sir? No, thank you, mate. I'm not staying here. You're not stupid, are you? No. I know what he's capable of. And you build up a rapport. The amount of time, as a PE teacher as well, I've spent with him when he's been going to football matches, rugby matches, representing the school. It is tough, because you don't want to lose certain pupils. It's meant to be on silent. Can you turn it off, please? Because if it's on the lesson, what's going to happen? We get confiscated. Yeah, and then what's going to happen then? I'm getting more trouble. And then we're back to square one, aren't we? I need to get my bag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, well, I'm in school. Vinny! What do you mean? Vincent! Oh, yeah, I've got to go because I'm speaking to one of my teachers quick. All right, safe, bye. Bye. OK, give me your phone. Why? OK, I'm going to block it away to avoid you getting in any trouble. Oh, miss. And then, OK, Vinny, 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 Vinny. Are you going to be OK today? Yeah. Lovely. Calm? Mm. Yes? Yeah. Lovely. I want you to work out the percentage carbon in glucose, which is C6H1206. This is the type of thing as well that actually, once you get the hang of it, is really easy. 
Benny, where are you wandering around? <laughs> I always end up in the corridor, so I just think I'll just walk around for a bit. Then, obviously, a teacher hide from them, and then walk around again and see another teacher hide from them. You right? <laughs> And then I was having a conversation with another teacher. So I come here to get a drink. Where are From the wall family. Oh my. The one there. Minnie. Minnie. Yeah. Do you behave yourself? Oh. Do I hate myself? Did you behave yourself? Oh, I thought you said, do I hate myself? Okay, See you later, Minnie. See you later, hey. Minnie. I'm going, Minnie. No, that way. Don't be silly. Ben, Ben, where is your lesson? Minnie. Yes? Where is your lesson? Yeah. Before you know it, the hour's gone. And I've missed the whole lesson. You not like him. Oh, you, you can't. You can't not like him. He's a little sod, but he's he just so likable. Vinny, come here. I don't find the situation with Vinny impossible. I find it extremely frustrating. So far, since the bell went, you have walked this way and that way around about six times. Now, I'm aware that you think that you are allowed to do these things and that you think that the rules don't apply to you and nobody will say anything to you, OK? I am sat here in the corridor and I will. So I would like you to provide me with a note from your teacher which gives you permission to be walking the corridor. I'm actually going to the toilet to get a wet Where bath. is your note from your teacher allowing you to do this? I am my note. Go to your lesson. You are not walking the corridor. Vinny? I'm going to my lesson. Where is your lesson? Vinny is due in the Student Support Centre, a place where any student can go if they need extra help. Hello, Karen. I've got Vinny with me. I'm sending him up now. Vinny's being sent there because he's been disruptive in normal lessons. I'm a bit concerned today because he's got four hours up here. I just think it's asking a lot of Vinny. Yeah, I'm very happy to have him. All right, cheers, Bex. Bye. Got up there now, yeah? Bye. He's been set coursework for one of his GCSE options, BTEC Sport. I want a word with you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm not happy. What is this? Facebook or whatever. That? That, no. It's my BTEC Sport work. It, it certainly isn't. It is me. My eyesight's bad, but it's not that bad. This only works because there's a level of trust. Oh, sorry, me. That's all right. Oh, Vinny, you're look, doing look, it again. It up and it keeps doing it, look. After break, we start again. Mm. Promise. Mm. Hang on. Yeah. You have seriously let me down. I asked you so politely not to do that, Vinny. If I can't trust you, it won't work, will it? I'm really frustrated with him. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Complaints about Vinny's behaviour have been coming in to head teacher Mr Goddard. Uh, Mr Witt has my folder. Yeah, well, I don't want you wandering the corridors just looking for Mr Witt. No, I'll be two seconds, I'll be straight away. Hello, sir. You have got to be having a laugh, Vinny. Why? You've been taking the mic all day. Why have I been taking the mic? Come on. Oh, not sitting in his office again. That's so wrong. No, I'm just going to go on. I'm actually going. Sounds like it, Vinny. Hold on, we've been looking for you all day. You've truanted lessons. Where were you in maths? We're sitting on blue bench. Yeah, and I walked around to get you out of blue bench, and you'd done a runner. Were you in your maths lesson? No, I wasn't in your maths lesson. So why not? Vinny, walking away doesn't make your problems go away. You know that. Did you go that way? I think the biggest issue is trust around adults. His trust around adults was damaged by the fracture of mum and dad's relationship. 80% of school-based problems start at the home. And, you know, that's, that's so obvious when you see Vinny's change so much and see the shift in his behaviour because of it. Do you ever think, OK, I've crossed the line now, I've gone too far? Sometimes. And then I'll just go speak to his comrades and sort it out. 
you sort of rebelling is making your life worse. Because as soon as anything gets a bit hard, your automatic reaction is, oh, I'm going home. Yeah, because everyone tells you, if be the bigger man, walk away. So when I get in an argument at school, instead of standing there and confronting someone and screaming at them and shouting at them, I'd rather just walk away. Bottom line is, you go to all your lessons. I was worse than this in the United. No, you weren't, Finn. Yeah, you I was. No, I completely disagree. What, you tell me you, I've got worse? Yes. No. Yes. I've got better. No, you haven't, and you know as well as I do. Vinny's hard to get through to now. Barriers up, he won't speak very, very openly. But there's a few times he said, I wish my parents were still together. And he, I, th I think to some extent, I could be wrong, it's just my opinion, he blames himself. At the end of the day, it's, it's your choice. You make the decisions. The, last, the next nine months are going to be massive. I want you to do well. Other members of staff want you to do well. And I'm sure when you're in the right frame of mind, you want to do well, yeah? I don't want for you in, what, four years' time to be sitting there thinking, you know what, I wish I listened. You may not trust what I'm saying or believe in what I'm saying, but I guarantee what I'm telling you is valuable. OK, pack away. Books back to me, please. It's very good, this, because everyone stops and looks at me, which means I can see whether or not you're wearing your uniform properly. I feel I should do this more often. Let me see. Yes, good. Aidan Denton, I believe we're spending time together on Monday? Yes, sir. Right, well, get your work up, please. I'll get you up. Thank you. To be a successful sports leader, you need a sense of humour, doesn't mind a joke, which helps to bring the group together, but no good to stop. Helps show our kids to become more confident with themselves. And have you written all this? Yeah. That's Lee... fantastic. Miss Conway. Miss Conway is a very passionate sports person. She never gives up and pushes all of the students to reach their best potential. She needs all of the leadership skills to become the best that she can be. In my opinion, she is already the best she can be because I love her dearly. Oh, you know, that is lovely. <laughs> that is fantastic. Have we got to the end? No. What you need to understand is there's an automatic punishment if you've got cigarettes on you. Place cigarettes on my desk. Oh, this ain't even God. my jacket. Oh, this is so okay, good. cigarettes on the desk. <laughs> cigarettes yeah. on the desk. This is my sister's <clears throat> coat. Okay, you will be punished for possessing them. However, if you refuse to hand them over, then you will be punished no, further. No, no, no. Admiral, Sister Spade, if I get in trouble, I'm going to go at you for it. Long Z. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Lobs what the hell's a lob's head? A lob is a foolish person. I looked it up on streetslang.com. Oh, so actually all she's done is just called me an idiot. Yeah. I thought it was like short for lobster head and that somehow that meant the only way to deal with me was boil me alive or that I would be sold in some expensive restaurant or something. And I was quite taken ah. by that, the thought I could be a lobster head. I thought you'd use a lobster head for a long period of time. Indeed. When he arrived, he was known as bright, sporty, cheeky chappy. And now he's bright, but not doing what he should with it. Sporty, but not playing any sport. Well, why have I closed the door? Come on, Vinny, don't let me down, turn up. The cheekiness has turned into truculence, but that other kid's still in him. He's an A-levels and university kid, if he wants to be. Hi, sir. Hi, Vinny, have a seat, mate. Talked about yesterday. Uh, I just... I don't know. Vinny, you've got to follow our rules. Yeah. OK? Mm -hmm. And we can be like other schools, or we just can say, actually, all those problems are yours. If you're not here, you're not following our rules, now that means you fail. And as far as I'm concerned, you fail, we fail. That's what this school should be about, a no-fail organisation. And I will invest as much personal energy and time into you as I possibly can and your behaviour yesterday really felt like, why are we making so much effort? And Vinny just votes with his fingers, all right, I'm going, and walks away. It's easy to walk, yeah, it is. 
All right. Later. See you later. Under Mr Goddard, the school strives never to expel a student. The percentage of prisoners in jail who are excluded from school is massive. It's something like 80, 85 per cent of all inmates. I can't look myself in the eye when I do, do my tie up and think that I can find somebody to that road. I'll do anything to avoid permanently excluding the kid. And that's a difficult line, giving that kid chance after chance after chance. It's not allowed to be on indoors. I know. And I ain't going to wear it with me. I don't believe you at the moment. Yeah, because I'm losing faith in you at the moment. I'll I'm going to give you a headache okay. until the bitter end. Okay. Okay. I've been to the dentist this morning. And how was that? And they said that I've got to eat crisps every few hours. Really? So I've got to eat crisps. You need some to eat crisps. a lesson, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Vinny, take your coat off. Vinny. Vinny, you're in a place now where you can mess your whole life up. OK, you've got until I've handed these books out and then we're going to start. Oh, no map today. No Vinny. People would live in really quite terrible conditions, but it would be a roof over their head and there would be some form of food. Um, I am so hungry. Oh, no, I feel like okay. I'm in poverty. Compulsory vaccinations. OK, so what are vaccinations? Why is that important? OK, morning. Morning. I've lost my report now. Mm. Where have you been? Um, in G4, in RM, everywhere. I've had Vinny since Year 7 and we've always gotten very well and he said in Year 9 he was only taking history because I was teaching it and I've had a really good relationship and all last year he would stay one hour every week to do his work with me, which is unheard of, really, from Vinny. It was fantastic. Because I thought we had RM. Miss Conway told me I had RM. You need to stay behind at the end, because I told well, you yesterday... I've got yesterday, ten minutes Miss Conway at the end. Well, you need to stay behind and speak to me first. All so, right. take a seat. Where are you going now? Oh, lovely. Super. Oh, I'll catch him later. Next one. It really upsets me when I know that we might lose students and they're just going to drift, and that's horrible. I noticed with him, like, recently now when I talk to him, he's just not... he's not the same boy. Like, you know, for whatever reason, his eyes look different, he's a different boy, he's not the way he was. In Year 7, I saw Vinny as a dad's boy. His dad came to all his football matches and the kids would tell me that if Vinny got hurt and cried, the dad would be like, come on, Vin, you come off, don't you worry about that. But I think Vinny had more of that dad time and so I think Vinny got more damaged by that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. pig and you eat your food really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's be honest, that's how you do it. And now it really hurts. Right, so what's happening in this lesson is you need to go into a Word document. You need to work quietly. You don't need to speak to anybody because you've got your own... Uh... Vinny, why are you late? Huh? Do what? You in here with us? <laughs> with me? No, everybody. Why would I pick on you? It is mainly for you, Vin. Must admit. I'm going to put it at the front. No, I don't. No, no, no. no. no you can't mean. drink in here. You cannot drink in here. Because you can't drink it in here, Vinny. I'll go stand outside and quit. No, Vinny. He actually just come into my classroom and the milk's so... Vin, what are you doing? Mm -mm. Why? Finishing this and I'm coming in. Because she's going to try and tell me that I've got to leave it on the side. You're not supposed to have it, are you? Well, if there was longer lunch times, I wouldn't... Oh, lunch time's not long enough, then? Mm. Can't fit in 20 Bensons and a milk shake. No. OK, let's stop, because you're really taking the mick right now. Right, if you're not back in this classroom in ten seconds, I'm going to get on call. OK? One of the yeah. teaching staff is always on call throughout the day to deal with students removed from lessons. You yeah, turn around and leave. Why are you not working? You've got five seconds to leave that outside and come in here, or you're not coming in. OK, three seconds. You're not coming in. You get on call. All right. 
Hello, I'm for argument over a banana milkshake. Let's go. Miss, you got a tissue? Vin? No, no, no. Why are you talking to him? Vin, get me a tissue, please. Charlotte? There's flipping water Stop. all over this computer. Okay, oh. now you need to go outside. Oh. Calm yourself down. Oh. No, you're just fitting. She doesn't want to do the work. That's exactly what it is. It's just your only Vinny, actually. Yeah. I'm a slash. Mm. Come on, you downstairs. Why are you allowed to go back in? Go and apologise, you. <laughs> Vinny! Vinny! I'm going on. Sir! Sir, who's on call? I don't know. Mrs Turner has made her judgement. You're not happy with it, OK? okay. No, listen. 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 I think at okay. times we have lost the sense that young people sometimes need very strong guidance. And I think at times we've almost lost that kind of confidence as a society that actually young people need to be controlled. Stop, Finn, stop. No, I hate And our constant wish to treat young people as completely autonomous people and to always give them the opportunity to express their opinion and to always let them be able to make decisions is actually quite detrimental. OK, stop. No, no, why stop. is it right for you to do that? Stop, to, from, from... because you are 15 or 16 years old, I am what? 38 what? years old, I'm a deputy, and I'm a deputy head teacher, so and you're a, a student. Law. So that's yes. a law. Because yes. you're older, you're allowed to speak whenever you want, yes. and I'm not. Yes. Well, look, anyway, I'm talking no, now, so... No, you will talk when I tell you you can. No, At the I moment, won't. you won't. I'm not a dog. I'm not, you're not telling me when I do things. OK, would you like to carry on attending this school in order to get an education? Uh, obviously. Then start treating people with the respect yes, they're entitled yes. to receive. Well, I'm... I have got a colleague here who is basically telling me that next time he's on call, he is wondering whether or not to do it because you are basically so utterly contemptuous of this school's attempts to manage and control discipline that you stop him from doing his job. That's a lie, that's a lie. I'm talking now. OK, conversation's over. Go and say that Mr Goddard's office now. Vinny will have about 27 final warnings and he'll probably have more final warnings than quite a few of the staff would want him to have. But there comes a time where actually I'm on my own and I look around and everybody else is thinking, no, they've run out of chances. And that's when I have to stop and think, actually, am I doing the right thing or is it a personal, is it a personal journey for me about, more about me and getting this kid through than it is about the school as a whole? I've seen a few Vinnie Hunters, I have to say. You're not the first Vinnie Hunter I've seen. Not actually called Vinnie Hunter, obviously, but you're quite hard work, Vin. You are. It's quite hard work to keep being positive with you, keep saying you can do stuff, keep supporting you. It's, it's emotionally quite difficult. Because actually, a bit of me wants to go, well, if you don't want to do it, then... That, that's what a bit of me wants to do. If I'm honest, because then I've got more energy and more time to deal with other people. But I'm a stubborn old fool. And I, that's not what I do, I don't give up. But it feels a little bit like you are. Right. Let's come see you. Yes, you do. Stand here, all of you in a line. There'll be lots of people. Right, name? Jake Pearson. Right. In your personal user area, you have a game called 13 Days in Hell and a game called 13 Days Nightmare 12. Would you like to tell me which one of your teachers told you to download that game into your personal user area so that you could run the game rather than accepting the limited internet access your teachers gave you? None. Right, you are banned from accessing the internet in school and let go and join the line, except for a list of websites drawn up by your teachers until the new year. Off you go, please. Form a line behind these people. If you speak to me before I speak to you, I am going to internally exclude you. And you are all going to wait while I do exactly the same conversation with every single one of you, OK? Everyone in? Right. Daniel Whitbread. Eleven games. Would you like to explain those? No, sir. You will have limited internet access until January for the fact that you have tried to get around your teacher's ability to educate you. Off you go, please. OK. Josh Jones. 46. Would you like to explain that to me? No, I thought not. Thank you very much. Ryan Howe. Would you like to explain to me which one of your teachers told you to download the torture game? None. Thank you very much. Connor Goldhawk. In your personal area, there are 56. Well done. You win the prize. Which of your teachers tell you to download 56 games? No, sir. Good answer. I think we're learning a little lesson this morning. Sometimes we just need to take the heat. That would be... Fizzy. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> look how cute Dean is when she's a baby. No, I don't want to look. She's cute. She's cute now. Right, phone away. You can look at her later. I've got other ones. Right, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. Vinny's behaviour is getting worse. Oh. Wait, who's that? <laughs> Despite giving him one-to-one support, the school are finding it increasingly difficult to manage him. Has he gone that way? But Finn, Finn. So Vinny basically is um, pushing the self-destruct button today. Yesterday he was caught smoking yeah. on the Year 7 playground yeah. in front of the kids. Yeah. And it's, ju- it's just n- yeah. not acceptable. He's, what he's trying to do is make every adult leave him alone. Yeah. Because he thinks if I'm horrible enough, adults will walk away from me. That's what he's doing, you know, and he's right, they will. I look at Vinny, that could have been me. You know, I lived in a big council estate. Um, you know, I used to hang around under the slide at, when it was raining and there was you know, plenty of opportunities to make bad choices. I was from a, a family stock where I was able to make the right choice. And, you know, I look at somebody like Vinny who's had, you know, disruptions in his family life and he hasn't got that security that I had. Um, and so a lot of times I actually don't see where I was in the kids. I see there, but for the grace of God, I would have gone. It breaks my heart to see where he started and where he's ended up. Yeah. You know, and how such a, you know, a, a gifted young person can, can just spiral out of control. I think we always need to be aware he is a, he is a significant contributor to the problem because he wanders the corridors, right. he yeah. stops them from going to their lessons. Yeah. We hold the lines that if a young person is um, disturbing other people's learning, that's unacceptable. Yeah. No, but what I mean is when he's then walked yeah, off no, and he's wandering, yeah. he is then stoking well, the fires the of problems He left the sign on three or four occasions and still comes back. Most Vinny and Vinny stuff will end up going through me and Bex. If you have to deal with him, deal with him, <laughs> OK? And deal with him exactly the same way as you would do normally. So, there we go, all right? Um, children in need day. Joe, can you make sure that heads are cows and The Vinny thing tears me apart completely. I think Vic is right regarding Vinny. <laughs> It stretches my bounds of loyalty and my bounds of thinking it's the right thing to do to the absolute limit. But I do think he's right. And I I kind of think about it and I think, does that mean that he's a better person than me? In terms of he is more prepared to just keep going with Vinny and keep going and going and going. And am I somehow lesser, less of a caring person? All right, see you later, mate. I'll, um, yeah. See you soon. Listen to Iron Maiden, baby, with you. It's eight forty five. Vinny's turned up at school, but he's not in his uniform. He didn't spend the night at home. Why are you dressed like that? Because I want to get out. So what happened? I just started having an argument, and my mum ended up pushing me out the door. So you're not in a good frame of mind at the moment? No, not really. OK. Have you spoke to your mum? No. No, I want to be. I was about to say you probably don't want to at the moment either. Why? Ever, or...? Ever. I want to go into care. OK, but it's, it's, it's not a nice place, Finn. No, but it's better than my heart at the moment. But people glorify care and think, oh, yeah, it's going to be this and that. People are in there for reasons that aren't very nice. OK, um, I need to speak to someone to find out what we're going to do. Oh, miss, I've got the money in now. Oh, well done. You need to pass it on to Miss Page. Vinny's coming today and he said, oh, mum kicked me out last night, say that Adina's haven't got my uniform, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know where. Do you mean to contact mum and yeah. find out? Yeah, we need to find out if it's true. Yeah. And if, if it is true, then I'm going to take it straight to Brian, the social worker. Hello, Kim. Yeah, he's in today. He said that he didn't stay at home because you kicked him out. OK, so that is true. Are you going to let him back at all, or...? 
Yeah, so you call, call the police in the end, and the police came round, OK. All right, then. Thanks. Bye. This sounds like really down the press. I'll get one. Um, yeah, so she's not going to have him back. Oh, darling, what's up? What's up, Ben? You've come to me, so don't tell me nothing's up. I just want to sit down. Seems not good then. How are you feeling then? To the point of me being told I mustn't upset you. What did you do last night? I had a fight with my own little brother. No, oh, because he slapped me around the face, so I... Why did he slap you down? Because he kept jumping in my bed, so I dragged him off my bed. And then he slapped you? Yeah, so... So he's been an annoying little brother. Yeah, so then I hit him, and then my mum started having a go at me. When you hit him, did you hit him, hit him, or did you...? Just gave him a little... little what? Did he cry? Yeah. Mm. But he always cries. Do you always fight you? But he's only 11, then. Don't get into an argument and, you know, apologise and... Finn, listen to me. Keep it sensible with Mum, yeah? Say, look, Mum, I know I've done wrong, I'm really sorry. I'm just... I'm really trying here. Would she keep me out if she loves me? Because she don't know what to do, Finn. Mate, I've been on the phone with your mum in tears. You know where we are, though, don't you? You just come in here because you're feeling a bit... Cheers. See you later. It's not that I didn't want him, I just need help. I just knew that if I didn't do something soon, something bad was going to happen. And I know he won't see it at the moment, but when he's older, I'm hoping that he'll think, yeah, my mum did do that for a reason. She didn't do it because she didn't want me. She did it for my own good. It started when me and his dad split up. Up until a couple of months ago, I think he still thought that we were going to get back together again, but there was no chance of that. He's got no confidence in himself. When you talk to him, he's like he's got loads of confidence, but he, when he's indoors on his own, he hasn't. Other people don't see some of the sides that I see to him. Everybody who knows Vinny thinks he's lovely, and, and he is lovely. He's just... Sometimes he goes off on one and he can just switch, just like that, ending up with Vinny's door hanging off by the hinge. All you need to do, right, is... It's two days since Vinny's argument with his mum and younger brother. Since then, he hasn't been staying at home. Social worker's been called Brian Goff. I know he's on his way. I'll be back in a minute. Head teacher Mr Goddard has just had a call to say social services are on their way to see Vinny. They've agreed with his mum he should go into voluntary care. And he's about to be taken to, to his new child, child home, basically, Chelmsford. Right. Does, is Vinny aware that this is a possibility? Yeah, when he spoke to us last, he went and they said, I'm either going into care tomorrow... Right. ..or I'm going to a foster placement. OK, and what's his... So he's what's well his, up on what's, it. What's his view on it? He said, Mum doesn't want me at home. We had a long, long chat about life and everything else, and he said, it's probably better that I'm gone. Um, he said, maybe it'll give me a chance to clear my head, get right. it right. The worry, of course, with a kiddie line is it could actually be exactly so the wrong thing. He learns that to be, he learns that'd be better at what he's dying to be better at. It would depend who's surrounding him. And how long he stays there for. All right. Um, Your involvement in families and the issues around families is, is much bigger than it's ever been. I'm going to go and collect him and bring him to my office. We have a multi-agency meeting with the police, the, the hospital, social care, you know, youth offending, all sitting around the table with a school teacher. And more often than not over the last few years, the lead professional chosen to look after that young person or that family from around that table is the school. Hello, miss. Look on for us to see the chat. Sorry, miss, is that That's right? That's right, save it. Thanks, miss. Thank you. Let's give 
It's 30 seconds, but he should be, he's on his way over. It can't be far. Have a seat. What's the plan? The plan is we found him a placement in residential children's home. They're going to take him this afternoon. Our duty is to provide him a safe place to stay. Yeah. This is the last option. I'd much rather work at home. Yeah. As the further that gap becomes, yeah, definitely. the more he starts linking in what's going on down there, yeah. the harder it is to get him back. So I feel some more in-depth work could be done at home, possibly to try and work out what's going on, bring his dad into that. The conflict between mum and dad, trying to sort that out for a start. The yeah. breaking point was the, yeah. the breakup of mum and dad. He's very damaged goods from that mm. point of view. Yeah. Okay, let's get him in. Okay. Come, oh, where's he gone? Well, that's not a good sign. Oh, there you are. I was thinking, oh, where's he gone? Come in, Vin. Have a seat, mate. All right, mate. You right? Yeah, good. You aware of what's going on the situation? Yeah. Yeah? There'll be other kids out. Don't know what they're like. Some will be good. Some will be all, they're all, they're all good. Um, some some behaviour will be better than others. You're your own man. Keep your own head, do your own thing. Don't be pulled into the behaviour of other kids. Okay. Kids will be saying, yeah, we play stuff up, we do this, we do that. Do your own thing. Yeah. Right. This yeah. breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. The fact we're having this conversation at all breaks my heart. This is a horrible experience mm -hmm. for you, and I understand that. But we have to get something out of it that's positive, that helps you move on the next step. And this place is what can do that for you. Mm -hmm. OK? Yeah. There is so much potential in you, Vinny, really, still to get it right. Mm -hmm. and still to get the job you need and the, the life you want. While the other stuff in your life is up and down, in, you know, up in the air and not really knowing what this isn't, okay? and you will always be welcome back in, no matter how many times you annoy us. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we will get you the results you need to move on. Okay? Okay. The more you can spend here, the more you can invest in your future, the less chance there is of your kids when you have them ever been in this position. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right, mate, you take care of yourself, yeah? Right, mate, see you later. You I sit there thinking that this is a young person that I showed around the school as a year six of his mum and dad. You alright, fella? Which path is he now taking? His behaviour's forced him down this path, but is it a path that he can get out of? You know, is it something that he can change and still lead the life that he
in school after his first weekend in care. So you just multiply in 450 by 1.85. That will give you how many? £832.50. £832.50, yeah. yeah? OK, good. Those of you who weren't here last lesson, I said homework. Do we get pocket money? Like that? <laughs> How much? Seven fifty on a Friday, um, three pound every day to school, and three pound ten on a Wednesday. That's well good. A bonus money. That's well good. That's well, actually sick. I know. I've reduced Vinnie Hunter's timetable this morning. Um, right. He was in the access centre period one, nice and calm. Um, he seems seems okay actually. So what's the people like there? Yeah. All right. They're all. Yeah. Not like you, are they? Ooh, no. Much worse than me. How long have you got to stay there? Four months. Um, I have to, yeah. Yeah. You look all right, though. Oh, any nice girls? <laughs> That'd be a bonus, wouldn't it? You have to do your own washing or anything? Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. They don't do your eyelid or nothing. So how do you find... Can you use a washing machine? Uh, I've learned. <laughs> in the last two years. <laughs> So you're allowed just to see mum when you want, though? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. I'm not allowed to come down on school days, though. No. You're allowed to see mum on school days? No. No. Let's wait till the weekend. Sorry. You'll be all right. Aren't you, Vinny? Look at me. Yeah. You will be. Hopefully. So do you phone mum every day? No. Try to. Vinny will leave with your five A stars to see. He'll get those, you know. Will he get B's and A's? No. We finish at one and we finish. I'll get him to his exams. By hook or crook, I'll get him to his exams. There's not a doubt in my mind that he'll make it to the end of school. But it will be with a few bruises for both of us on the way. Remember where I am if you need me. Cheers, man. <laughs>